I'm super down and getting the day started early, which is always never a bad fun. thing. Yeah, it should be a good time. So, um, we so guys, if you guys don't don't know, uh, our season seven, uh, this is our second season of doing 2.5 X-wing. It is extended. Uh, just as you see, Wolf Waro on the left there is one of our extended ships. Um, just to give some love to the stuff that we don't see very often, and then you guys are all thinking I did it for the E-wings. Well, I, I did it so that people could play E-Wings, but I did not play in this league. I'm um, just too too freaking busy right now. I just the commitment is uh, too much, but I will probably be back soon. And I got another league I'm doing. I got the draft league coming up. And, you know, Pim, you're you're uh, you're letting go of the reins of NJO, but you're going to keep playing in it. So are you excited about being a gun for hire this time instead of being a I'm captain? Forward to it. I'm uh, I have no really no concept of what i'm gonna go i'm excited to find out yeah uh, how that works but we will uh we'll have a good time yeah it's gonna be it'll be <laughs> very entertaining tomorrow night it's gonna be a lot of fun so i'm excited yeah i um let's see i'm just closing out of the stock here all right so we want to break down the list who do you want to talk about here we got uh we've got josh and noah josh on the left playing rebels and noah on the right playing scum a very special scum list <laughs> uh i don't care you you pick first all you're, right you know you're, you're, you're the right. rebel guy why don't you go with them all right cool so noah um or sorry josh on the left playing rebels starting us off we got colby sperato um a great value X-Wing pilot at, a, at Initiative 4, but only 4 points. It's got notorious R4 astromech false transponder codes. Aaron Kraken to give those extra actions as elusive fire control system and ion torpedoes. And then Dutch to pair up with Aaron to give her double mods on those ion torps. Dutch has got concussion missiles, R3 astromech, and uh, concussion bombs. That's going to be for Wolf Waro, because Wolf Waro loves to have that damage card. Wolf Waro's got hopeful as a Fenrau crew and hull upgrade, which is not banned and extended. So why not take it? It's a lot of health. It's a, it is a lot of health. That is actually, I guess, six health after the concussion bomb hits, which is pretty solid. And then Ezra you Bridger. Said, uh, you said giving her, who, who were you referring to with her? Oh, I think I always refer to to Aaron as a woman for some reason, and, and he's a dude. Yeah, he's I, a There's a lot of uh, female X-Wing pilots that I get used to just calling them all she, because it's, Usually a lot of women pilot that I, pilots that I've been playing, um, but thank you for correcting. I thought it was Aaron, and I was like, I don't. I think he's a dude. Yeah, Aaron's a dude. Um, and Ezra Bridger, he oh, has yeah. Leia crew in that attack shuttle. So Leia crew with the attack shuttle, is, like honestly, that dial is really good if you've got Leia crew. Yeah. Um, Just a dirt cheap option for a three dice gun too. Yeah, but plus, I mean, Ezra's ability, you kind of don't care if you get stressed. Yeah, um, it's true. It's a great ability. Yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, in 2.0, uh, the attack shuttle was always like the best budget three dice gun option. Yeah, I mean, it still is to an extent. If you can, yeah. you know, in extended, you can still play it, obviously. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great, uh, great little budget thing. Um, it always crumbles way faster than you expect because it kind of feels like an X-Wing until you start looking at its health and you're like, oh, it's, it's going to die really quick. Yeah. Do you want to do um, the scum list cool. now? Absolutely. All right. Um, so we've got five Hawks, count them, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, Hawk 290 light freighters. Uh, we're going to start with the lowest initiative. That is Torkel Mux. This is the a-hole who likes to drop you down to a Oh, yeah, he's now. fun. <laughs> <laughs> he's fun to play, not fun to play against. <laughs> yep. Um, he's got Zuckus crew, proton bombs, false transponder codes, and delayed fuses. Uh, Zuckus, of course, says, while you form an attack, if you're not stressed, you can gain the stress and choose one defense die. Make him re-roll it. Uh, a really annoying little crew. Um, again, Scum has Scum has excellent crew options across the board. Uh, a lot of utility for pretty cheap. I think Zuckus is what two points, something like that. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Really cheap for what he does. Um, next, we've got Gamut Key, probably the best support ship in the game right now, but he's not oh, running Gleb. No, no Gleb. No Gleb. No coordinate over here. Uh, we've just got proton bombs, false transponder codes, and delayed fuses. Of course, Gamut Key, uh, at the start of the end phase, you can spend two charges, choose a ship in your firing arc or yourself, and give them, and let them keep their green tokens. Really uh, make anyone kind of into a mini multi crow. Yeah, you can give um, two ships double mods if you work his ability and his coordinate. Typically, if he has Glab, you can do two double mods. Yeah. No chance yeah, here, Glab but is, still a good ability. 
I'm kind of surprised to see without Gleb, but we're going for more of a, you know, everyone's got kind of utility going on, except for our next ship, who is, I think, I mentioned uh, Torko being an a-hole. I think Kanan may be worse, um, especially with Maul. <laughs> with Maul, uh, yeah, with Maul. I love me, I love me some Kanan, uh, but the big beefy Kanan that is uh, easier to kill, not this little hawk that's cheap and allows you to reduce the attack die um, uh, of your enemies when a friendly ship defends. Um, of course, he's got two force thanks to Maul. When he takes a damage, he can take a stress to recover a force if he needs to. Um, so that means he can do it twice in a turn and maybe do it twice next turn if he gets hit. Um, next we've got Palob Gadalhi. Uh, this is the Moldy Crow on this hawk. The most expensive hawk on the board. Uh, at the start of the engagement, engagement phase, excuse me, he can pick a green token and just yoink it. Uh, he's got notorious proton bombs, transponder coats, and delayed fuses. Does he take all? I think he takes all uh, green tokens, right? Just one. Focus or evade, specifically. So if he's reinforced, he doesn't do anything. Oh, against transfer that, one so. focus. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. And calculate doesn't do anything against. Ironically, droids are very good against him. Yeah. Um, but again, we see the proton bombs, transponder codes, and fuses on this ship. And last but not least, we've got Tapusk. The Great, greatest, hawk. the greatest pilot of all the Hawks, Tapusk. Tapusk, seen so often. <laughs> um, Tuny, which he, he can deny recharges of uh, force or... Um, recurring charges on a pilot card uh, to help deny some of those abilities if he needs to. He's got Cura, which means if he locks a rock, he can just go through it without consequences. Um, we got Proton Bombs, Transponder Codes, and Fuses once again. Uh, so all of these Hogs have some nice bombing potential. Um, except for Kanan, of course, he's got that expensive Maul crew, but he's very good for what he does. This is going to be an interesting match. Um, I'm excited to see it. Yeah, yeah, and we are underway. Uh, time has started. Salvage mission. We are underway. The top eight for season seven of the three one two league. Thank you all for being here. Hi, Matt B. By the way, hi Greg. Hi everybody. Hi Pim, who's also here with me. Hello. Pim goes undrafted. That would be the biggest upset of the draft. <laughs> Just, we we had too many people. We can't draft you, and you're over here like that's fine. I'll I'll take a break. <laughs> Chips on you. There was discussion before the last draft of uh, making one player uh, go last, uh, or be drafted last, um, just to mess with him. But then uh, Catherine immediately did not do that, and drafted him first. Yeah. So. Can you? I, I would. Oh my god. I we're over here like you know, don't take it personally, and then we we literally personally attack somebody <laughs> by making them go last. Ideal. <laughs> Seems fair. So Josh and I were messing with each other before the uh, the stream started. He kept wanting to be teal, and I wanted him to be red because he's on the red side. He kept changing his color to teal. Eventually, I kicked him as a joke, and then he quit the Discord. So I had to have him come back. Craig being a bully. Yeah. Or Craig, Nick being a bully. So you yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, too used to Greg being a bully, right? So that... used to Greg being a bully. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the man who can say or do no wrong. I, I find it. How many redeems does Greg have of me now? Four? I think just five. <laughs> I want to say it's more than it's two. The coward. All right, hang on. It's coward. It's Tinder. There's it's the, the, the one where no I. Wrong. Yeah, there's th at least three. There's that damage card from the concussion bomb. It takes a strain, so it's not a face up damage. That would be kind of, potentially catastrophic. Yeah, no I do, do sort of wish that Saul was in this list. Um, Saul Pilot, rather. Yeah, I really like Saw with Concussion and Wolf War. It just makes him that much more dangerous. You have to focus him first. I want to get the Ewing on the table like in real life some more. Um, I just love that ship so much. It's such a cool ship. It's a cool ship. You know, I, I've i been messing around recently with Rebels and looking at... Um, uh, it's two Ewings, Ezra, and the Gauntlet, and just whatever three-pointer you want to throw in there. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's Saw and... I, I've been doing Saw and Benthic. Um, just to give Ezra, like, as many mods as possible. Um, but you could do, like, Cassian if you wanted, or any of the other U-Wings. Um, doesn't have to be Benthic, but it's a it's a fun list. And it does really well on a lot of these objectives, because it can just body block. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So between the Gauntlets and the U-Wings, you can just stop on a turn, and then no one's getting to, like, you can't get to the um, satellites to flip it, or you can't get to an, a, a, you know, assault uh, King of the Hill kind of objective. Yeah. 
I've had a lot of fun playing um, fair off. Like the the re the, the mm, yeah. fair off at four points is so good. But yeah, oh, yeah. I have a list with Merrick in, in it, and fair off pairs so nicely with him because fair off, especially with um, outside of chance, fair off just actually even in chance you can I set him in front of a rock or obstacle and stop mm -hmm. turn one so I can see which way like where my opponent's going if they had just you know yeah. kind of show their hand and then I do like a one one bank to clear stress and I start coordinating Merrick until I don't need to coordinate him anymore. And with Seven Sister, he doesn't really care about not taking an action oh, yeah. or, or losing oh, his, his action. ability too. It's just like, okay, I'm gonna spend my focus on offense so I get two hits. All right, then I get an immediate evade, right? Yeah, it's kind of like callous in that effect of like, or or the the, the FO whispers, um, of like you know you, you want to spend your green token obviously to get more hits, but if you do, you're just beefing up the other side. Um, it's an interesting little, uh, interesting mechanic. Yeah, sorry, I'm telling the they're, the players are using dice that are not you cannot see in the dice cam. Oh. <laughs> so they gotta okay. use the gold ones for now on. <laughs> so it can actually not the biggest deal, but if they want to roll in the dice cam. Probably Josh messing with you again. Now they're both using like green and brown dice. I'm like, nope. Yeah, look at this form flying by the hawks right now. I'm that's impressive. As someone who's terrible at banking and form flying, that's impressive to see them kind of all in one little. Yeah, little here we row. go, taking a salvage. That's on Kanan. That is on Kanan, yeah. I'm gonna get him a. Uh... Yeah, if they have like a marker for it or something. Yeah. Thanks. Do you want? Do Tim, very helpful co-commentator here. First, uh, first crate grab of the day. Yes. Oh, right, now we're gonna see as we're taking the next one. Two of them, two crates. I don't hate it on the attack shuttle. Uh, you've got that barrel roll evade option, which is pretty good with Ezra's ability, um, because it basically gives you like a focus evade uh, with his force. Um, yeah, but you, losing that right. isn't the worst thing in the world right now. Uh, against these Hawks, they're all throwing two dice except for Paylob. Um, and Paylob is going to be able to take that evade away from you anyway. So you yeah. kinda, you know, 50-50 on whether that's going to be super useful. Paylob is a dirty boy. I do think it's interesting that this Hawk list has four copies of Transponder Codes and Paylob. Um, it's, it's designed to just remove green tokens entirely, right? I mean, there's yeah. no way that between Paylob and these transponder codes, if there's a ship that needs to be, mo you know, if, if you're gonna, if he knows who he's focusing on, right, you, you can guarantee they're not gonna have um, any mods. Yeah, I mean, the question is just like, how much damage can it do, you know? Um, right. it, well, the good news for Noah is that there's a lot of low agility ships in this list, so um, that could that could benefit him, but. And our Dutch will probably try to help burn as many of these false transponder codes as possible. With R3, you can lock the same yeah. object again because you've been jammed. Uh, well, it depends on player order. Oh, yeah. But that's yeah. that's true, yeah. Um, but we have a, a Dutch is an I4. Um, we have the highest, a lot of threes in this list. Lower initiatives, so I don't think it... I don't want to be mean to anyone on stream. Um, but I do want to point out, Josh moved uh, Kraken at I4 and at I5 and bumped himself. Um, just want to highlight that mistake right there. Would he have not have bumped himself? No, he still would have. But <laughs> it's just kind of a double mistake of, oh, you planned poorly and you moved at the wrong time. <laughs> it's, it's early. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Just the the arm the armchair yeah uh, armchair commentators. Judging yeah, by the way Josh good. was this morning, I don't know if he wants to hear that. <laughs> Josh was hostile this morning, but I mean that's you know that's the energy you put out. That's the energy you get back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I definitely didn't tell anybody to go fuck themselves. <laughs> that was not the language that I would use, but he could use that. That's, that's what fine. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That he you know he brought out this intense energy. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Good. Yeah. 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 He's bringing that energy in, you know? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> so Dutch's ability goes off, he locks to... Who did he give... The, who did he pass a lock to? Anybody? I don't... I, I saw two Dutch locks out there, I didn't see... I don't think he passed one to... Um, 
Oh, he undid. Oh, he? he undid Aaron. Okay. Well, he figured out the i5 thing. That's cool. He's still gonna bump, unfortunately. <laughs> Can you don't imagine he moves him, him, yeah, moves him again and doesn't bump? So you say, don't make him re-roll it. He's already rolled it. That's he fine. He doesn't need a re-roll. Did he take damage though? He didn't, right? He didn't take damage now. Oh, actually, Wolf got the lock on Torkoal. It was just hiding there. Okay. So Dutch did pass the lock to uh, Wolf and gave the Tor. All right, put it on Torkoal. So Wolf. Well, Faro has got. How did he take a lock myself when I jammed the lock off? How did no. Wolf? How was Wolf Faro able to take a target lock? Uh, from Dutch's ability. Yeah, but okay. So Dutch doesn't care if you have a target lock no. action. Okay. No, no, it just says acquire a lock. Yeah. No, got it. I were to lock myself, would I jam it? Yeah, it, it jams the shit. What? Why would, why would you do that anyways? Lock yourself. Yeah, I, I think he's misunderstanding how that works. But like, why would you want to jam, blow off your own transponder? Well, he's, trying, he's, trying to get the, he's trying to get the lock, wolf's lock off. That's oh. what he's trying to say. It's like, if I, if I lock... Oh, portal, sure. He's like, panic, <laughs> panic. <laughs> and it's like, no, that's not how that works. Um, Torkoal's ability goes off, and we're gonna see a. Yep. Uh, I like the fuse marker on that. It's kind of cute. <laughs> screw, screw you, Wolfie. Yeah, you All right. So this is this is turn two, technically. We're going yes. into the shoosty shoots. Yeah, and the rebels don't have. They have one crate of the scums two so far. So rebels are hoping to get some early damage out. Uh, Kraken doesn't get a shot, so you're not gonna be able to pass an action. Unfortunately, that's his one limitation. Um. Colby could have picked up that objective, it looks like, but I almost think with Colby's ability, you want to let him boost still. Colby has a very strong ability. Uh, oh. <laughs> In the dice box, por favor, eh? There we go. Yeah, this is going into Torkoal. One hit, a little better, actually. Unlikely to hit, yep. How many shots is Dutch gonna take here? Uh, is the Arcer to the take... side, right? Well, there's yeah, here's one, thinking... but going to Wolf. This is I will say this is a good matchup for Wolf. Um, to where I don't know if he, I just don't know if if uh, Noah has the enough firepower to let, to prevent Wolf from shooting twice. Right, like he's gonna shoot yeah. once regardless. And um, that's an it's usually enough for him if he gets two shots in with that, that yeah, number two of dice. Shots with that ability. I mean that's very another strong. another one goes through though. Gonna try to burn so him he's down. down to, he's back down to six health. Yeah. Uh man, Wolf he, he just keeps rolling. Is he rolling natties every single shot? Well, he's, he's just rolling he's two hits. One of eight. He was rolling one of eight in. But yeah, Natty's on the the hawk side. But he hasn't spent a green token on an attack yet? Nope. Jesus, that's really frustrating. Three straight times, it's a little annoying. I would almost spend the focus here. You have the lock for DI, he's gonna take it. Oh, he's got four I'm left, sure. right? Yeah. Yeah, Wolf may actually be able to be killed next turn then. You just gotta make sure you keep Torkoal's um, arc pointed at him. The X-Wings need to come in and participate hardcore next turn, man. Only one X-Wing. Or, or, or well, yeah, a Z-95, who looks as top-down, looks kind of like an X-Wing. And we get Kanan. Kanan against all. Wolf, so only three dice, but three natties. Rolls the natties. There's a lot of natties so far. Oh, Ooh. three go through. Who is this shot into, though? Torkoal. It was in a Torkoal. Okay, take yep. that, Torkoal. Torkoal on two hole. Yeah, that's why you spend that focus on defense. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm more, I guess, more conservative usually. Other there are times I've definitely been like, I need to keep this focus and really make my hit, uh, my hit hit, uh, or my shot hit, I should say. All right, points are scored two to one in favor of Scum here going into turn three. All right, real quick, we'll step away from the action just. Just to let you guys know that as usual, we have our we have our league giveaway goals laid out here, and the ten subs is a uh, card pack including our new sticker, one of our new stickers, the flag, the X-wing flag. We've got our our three one two Astromech and the Mandalorian. So, um, actually, yeah, 
We'll do we'll do archery one two instead of elusive. I just realized that technically these guys got elusives for this league, and including you, Pim, you played in this one. But the Mandalorian card is really sweet. So and it's also Wasn't that part of the league. Uh, R three one two was part of the Legacy League technically, but it's okay. such a cool card that will. Uh, that was great. Yeah. So yeah. So that's ten subs. We'll give away one of those, and we got a range one point five ruler. I got one right here in front of me. These are I love these things. I know that a lot of us like to fold the mat now, but I still use this because it's just like why not? You have it. it doesn't take too long to set up an objective marker without folding the mat. It's an extra like five seconds. So. And then at 30, we got our Wood Strata Strike Victory Point Counter. Um, I think these are glorious. They're beautiful. I love these so much. A lot of us have them here in our local group. And yes, that is what we got today. And back to the game. Why doesn't Josh reinforce? Because he won double mods. He could reinforce next turn, but it's probably too late. To want to next ship. turn, may get transponder code who did so we, we lost oh that's true torkel and paylob lost their transponder codes um so you have to I'll mark like those gambit. actually i don't know if gamut can lock him you'd have to do like a i have another one bank would probably hit him still yeah because he shot him the one bank wouldn't be able to lock him so what does josh need to do now to kind of what can he do uh, um answering a question from chat sorry wolfie only rolled three because of uh Kanan's ability yeah Kanan spent a force to reduce that die um, Josh right now really needs to clear one of these hawks, unfortunately, and keep Wolf alive idea, is the ideal situation. Um, unfortunately, you're going to have to deal with Torkoal's ability again. So I, I don't think there's any chance Wolf gets to shoot, um, Wolf gets to shoot before, uh, before I-0. I think you're going to go to I-0, so you got to keep him alive for there. Um, I think my... So Wolf being I-4 is going to be useful here uh, because, you know, th there's, it's unlikely that Tapas is going to get a chance to lock you, depending on where you go, right? Yeah. Um, so you can kind of wait to see what Gamut does. If Gamut locks you and you get jammed, then you can focus, you can use your action to barrel roll, try to get out of at least one of these Hawks arcs or something. But if you're not jammed, take that Reinforce, right? Take that Reinforce, rely on the lock that you already have from Dutch to kill Torkoal. Um, but try to play it safer. You need to keep Wolf alive. That's yeah. And Kanan's probably going to do Kanan things again. So right. it would have to yeah. be two hole on Torkoal. I think maybe if uh, where's Torkoal at right now? Torkoal is the red, red the red one. Yeah. So really, yeah. Torkoal's very. I honestly think you have a chance to kill I, with Aaron I or Colby. Get close enough. Although I one of them might want to take a salvage. Colby's not going to go down to five two die shots. I say. No, 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 no. I, I, I mean to you... kill Torkoal with, oh, I think sorry. Colby yes. is yeah. going to be the one to be able to do it here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you've got that. I mean, the, the thing if I'm Josh right now is I'm trying to keep Wolf alive for one more turn. Yeah, Wolf is um, five points. And if you keep him alive for one more turn, you can guarantee that he is to, he, well, you can almost guarantee he's not initiative killed, right? Because you'll have Tapas at I-5, but other than that, without Torkoal, you don't have to worry about being dropped to zero. Yeah, yeah, if Torkoal sticks around, it's going to be um, very rough. Yeah, so if you're Josh, you gotta kill Torkoal and try to keep Wolf alive. Those are your two objectives um, right now. I mean, maybe even try to bank him and reinforce yeah. and hide behind the debris cloud. for Man. The uh, E-Wings would have been really good for this matchup <laughs> to blow all the right, transponder really, codes. Yeah. Just get rid of and all that, the false the transponder one, codes. That's the one big thing, too, when it comes to um, Hawks, is they really can't deal with high agility. Uh, and you've got a lot of proton bombs here to try to help with that, but for mm -hmm. the most part, Hawks are... Yeah. Uh, they're fun, but like a minute you're not, not very good. Swarm. Yeah, the minute you run into a tie swarm, you're like, well, my my day is ruined. Yeah, my disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. I don't think we're gonna see a Leia charge here because I don't think you want to stop with Wolf or do any reds. But all right, Josh's color brown now for some reason. I think he's really just doing that to screw with me. Um, or he's color one. I thought brown was red. Is he? Because yeah. he didn't. He didn't. I. I. I wasn't yeah, sure. I have no idea. I have okay. No idea. If he is, like, okay, that's totally fine. Like, it's all good. Did Gamut spend his charges to keep Torkoal's focus? It looks like he did. Yeah, we got yeah, those charges did. spent. Focus rotate. Now that's actually interesting. Hmm. I think that's a mistake on. Noah's yeah. Part, yeah. That's a, that's like, hey, Wolfie, uh, you you can do what you shot. need to do now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, because we we can't kill you before you shoot. So yeah. have fun. So now, I, I yeah, you now you initiative kill Torkoal. Yeah, you drop Ezra. Cool, like, but yeah, what's the point of that? You know, Ezra um, will take a couple of damage. You know, Torkoal will be dead though before he will be able to shoot. Here comes uh, Gamut rotating forward. Good news is Paylob's not going to be able to get close enough to, I don't think, close enough to steal a token. Oh, uh, never mind. No, he's still out of aid. <laughs> he jumps over with the bank. Yep, yep. Just <laughs> usual, usual Paylob nonsense. Yeah, we're yep. just going to take that. Although he's going to jam this. No, he's already been. He's already yeah. used the transponders. Okay. Yeah, that is my one question here. It's like, I don't necessarily think transponders is good on Paylob because he wants to be. If you're getting rid of green tokens, right? You want to be stealing those. Um, I do think transponders is maybe not the call I would make, but it's what it is. Well, I mean, if they have more than one green token, you can jam one, steal the other, um, and guess, have double mods, can, right? How many ships are token st stacking? That no, much, right? I, yeah, I mean, I mean, token stacking, yeah, it's not wasn't it's not as big of a thing as it I maybe mean, used to be. More, at least what I'm seeing more of like is a lock focus. It's not a lot of like double focus of aid unless you're yeah. you know Mandalorian with or defender Gamma defenders, I guess. Yeah, defenders. That's true. But who's playing, sure? like, you see a little bit of Rexler, but if it's not Vader, it's not anything, right? Yeah, Rexler isn't that scary when all is said and done. I see it's not the uh, same, like, action, or hit hit efficiency that Vader does. Vader's just, like, a tank. Yeah, like, you roll, oh, a, Rexler rolls a blank, it's like, well, that's a blank. You can't yeah, do anything with it. rolls a blank, and you're like, oh no, just kidding, it's four hits. I feel like Colby like, should no. just take the salvage here, right? Or should he use the, he does he want to use the ability? He closes wings, you boost focus, you get in and try to kill Torkoal. I guess Aaron. Oh, Aaron will just take the. Yeah, he Aaron will take, take the salvage. Yeah, there you go. Um, actually, Aaron could let himself take the salvage after he shoots. You have to get close enough to be able to shoot the. Opens the wings. Yep, use the ability to get that focus, Didn't right? Want the focus. Didn't no. want the focus. It looks like he's gonna. Aaron's probably going to like. I think. I think Josh is betting on Aaron giving Colby an action. Yeah. Okay. Which is why you don't take the focus there. But Which I is probably gonna be a target lock, right? With false transponder codes. Uh, Blow maybe, that focus but... off of uh, Torkoal, make that shot two, easier. Do you use it when you've got? I mean, I don't know. That's a tough, tough call. Do you use the transponder codes when you've got two focuses already? Do you feel like you have a guaranteed kill with Wolf Warrow? Maybe. Dutch, yeah. yeah I mean, wow, really kind of giving up the flank to to uh, to Wolf Warrow, Colby, and Dutch here, all for Ezra. Yeah, yeah four yeah. point ship. Might not even kill still. I mean, it's a three die gun with the force, I suppose, but this and, and only four health. I mean, you can kill it. Yeah, okay, it so there's the like... lock from Dutch. Uh, yeah. False transponder codes is going to kill the focus, which really matters because uh, yeah, shot going to Ezra might not be as good. Colby's um, gonna pick that evade still, um, but at the same time, he doesn't have focus evade. He's not token stacked. Or pay oh, Paylob is yeah. Unless we want to pretend that Colby is Paylob. There you go. That is the one thing that, you know, that uh, Woody's mentioned there in the chat. No, it's setting up the bombing run. But I, I still think you kill Wolf, then do the bombs. Like, I, I don't know. Giving up your flank to Wolf Warrior is just scary. That's a four die gun, right? I mean, Kanan can yeah. drop it one, but still it's four dice. I mean, that's... I can hurt. It's gonna wait. Focus. Here we go. Uh, Torkoal first, and then Paylob steals. God, that's so mean. I, honestly, if I'm Josh, funny. I'm like, um, okay. <laughs> and what else can you do, right? No, but no. If I'm Josh, I'm like, that's fine. Like, it's really yeah. like it feels bad, but it's like this is the best feels bad kind of situation. And Aaron doesn't have a a shot anyway. So here we go. Yeah. Started off with the I five. We've got Tapusk. Okay, well, he rolled natties again. He does not roll natties this time. Rolls a crit, though. Rolls a crit. Ezra does have a crate. Oh, too bad. too bad. Not going through. The crate stays for now. Who do you shoot first with? Also, I Wolf, right? I don't know if Greg is still wolf. here. Uh, sorry, I just I missed Greg. Greg, Greg resubscribe to us. Thanks, Greg. I I sorry, I missed that. Appreciate you, man. Shoot. Shoot with Wolf first, right? He's got a lock, double modded. I mean, the other is, the others have shots on Paylob, but you can readjust and shoot Torkoal if you need to. Shoot with Wolf first. 
Ah, I hate that. Because now if, if... So we see Cannon again. Um, but if Whoop doesn't kill Paylob, I mean, you're going to feel bad. Oh. Or it doesn't kill Torpo, rather. Excuse me. Defensive lock. I wish you had that focus. Only one. And rolls yeah, natties. If he shoots with Dutch next, I'm going to be mad. You think about it. He's hovering. Oh, he's hovering. He's hovering. You've got one shot. You've got one shot with Wolf. Use that shot first. There's the arc. Oh. It's spawn, folks. Oh, Pim is bad. tilted. Oh, uh, uh, no, yeah. It's just, a, it's no, just yeah. those mistakes that you're going to make and then think about later and you're like, I should have shot with him. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, then Dutch could have chosen somebody else. Here is a, a uh, concussion missile. Yeah, Dutch has a lock on. Thank you, Colfax. Yes. What's up, man? How the hell are you? Appreciate you, dude. Yeah, I see. I would shoot Good morning. first, just because again, Wolf has that one great shot. But if you miss, I mean, you you really need Torkoal dead this turn. You don't want him dropping a bomb and also ruining your uh, offense for next turn again. Has the lock? Only one so far. Spending it to reroll two. This is Dutch's concussion missile. It gets three. Torkoal. Is this his end of Torkoal, right? Uh, pay love. Oh, and a Paylob taking one. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that's why I didn't like that, because again, it's Torkoal's on two. You got to make sure he kills him. Yeah. Uh, Kong is going to pop that card, though. Fuel Leak. Yeah, that's not actually not... It's not terrible. Now if you get a crit with Wolf, guarantees kill, maybe. Can get a oh, this what, oh, so this crit was... Oh, that's right, Kong pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kong yeah. That's something you don't see as often as you'd think, right? Getting yeah. that card flipped over. We see Cannon, uh, Cannon's ability going off again here. Reroll on the blank. That's three. You better hope for. You need two blanks on defense. Don't get it. Get him. Takes one yeah, more. If a crit why... going through would have done it as well, but unfortunately, no dice there. Oracle on yeah, one. That's why, again, that's why I just wanted to shoot with Wolf first, because Ugh. then you know that, okay, I can spend another shot. Let me spend Colby and Dutch trying to kill Torkoal, right? Yeah, yeah. Doing good, lazy weekend after taking the new benevolent influence of dual vaccines. Oh yeah, that can hit you pretty hard. I gotta get that before I travel next. Not looking forward to that. That'll knock you out for, ooh. ooh. Okay, all right. Well, that's a good start for Ezra. Not taking, and you don't even have to roll defense dice. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have a focus because it this was jammed is, this off. This is Paylob. Has wow. a lock, right? Or did not did the no. lock? He took the crate. Oh, instead? Because he originally yeah. locked, right? And yeah, then he originally changed locked and changed his mind to pick the crate up. Wow, this is this is real bad so far. <laughs> Throwing away his bit, dice. Maybe, maybe a little anger from uh, Noah on that one. Yeah. A little tilt. But I, honestly, time, though, Torkoal should have died. So you're that, lucky I, he's alive. <laughs> and the first round of just being like natties on everybody you know it evens out yeah all right going to torkoal here clear that ship yeah come on, come on. let's go three, three tech dice. dice yeah three tech dice cannon can't do range two force. yep Cannon's so already gone ezra didn't take a single damage from that yeah. oh that's incredible oh that Ooh, could do it great. that could do well, it doesn't doesn't matter Alive rolls natties. Oh my gosh! I think what the both fuck? Ezra and Torkoal being alive this turn does surprise me a little bit. Yeah, and we're gonna get proton bombs dropped here, right? Yeah, At least a couple. The issue. That's gonna be the big issue for um, I think both players because yeah, obviously Torkoal can. I mean, he gets blocked on one of these bombs, he's dead. Um, well, Torkoal but, probably drops one, right? Torkoal drops, and he's got to go like a three straight. Is that their fastest straight maneuver? Yeah, I let's see, I can pull. That was like pretty comparable to a Rebel Y wing. Yeah, the only difference is the Y wing has a 4K and they've got a stop. Um, Here's yeah, their so they dial. Do a three straight. So I imagine you're gonna see a three straight out of Torkoal and like a focus rotate to the rear, maybe. Um, the question is just where does everyone else go? It's it's these a little clustered to start doing a yeah. carpet bomb here. Um, but you get, I mean, you can easily get Colby, Dutch. You're probably not getting Kraken. You may get Wolf, depending on what he does. 
Um, this is going to be an interesting turn. Going into turn four, thanks to Colfax and Greg, we have two of out of ten for our for, first our first leg of the sub goals today for our league swag giveaways. Lots of we got acrylic, we got wood goodness, all the goodnesses of all the materials. We got cards, we got stickers, we got new stickers that just came in. We're going to be announcing our tournament, uh, our December third tournament here soon. I just need to compile everything, and I reached you, uh... out to. Him yesterday about that when i get you that set up so i got like, plenty of wood yeah morning wood actually technically right because it's the morning and i have wood in my hand in my condolences yeah i'm morning thank you m-o-u-r-n-i-n-g <laughs> okay <laughs> that's that what does that even mean uh, yes i have both let's just say i have both right hey oh yeah colfax saying hey This is so... so it's five to three with the points calculated from Salvage. Man, I'm still surprised Wolf is alive. Um, That is, I don't know, interesting to me. Does Noah have three crates? He does have three crates still. Wow, he's alive. Yeah, Noah has three crates. But, I mean, you kill Torkoal, that's three points, yeah. four points for Torkoal, plus minus one on the crates. Luckily so. for... um. For Josh here, the only ship that kind of cares about taking a crate is Colby. Like he, these are both good lists for for salvage mission. Yeah, again, I think that Ezra kind of wants access to the role of A just because of his ability, but at the same time, not having it isn't that big of a deal. Like you're fine without it. It's just nice to have. Like that turn especially would have been nice for that focus role there, just to be um, a little more defensive as those hawks turn towards you. Yeah. But... He didn't need it. Mm hmm. Shockingly. That was a that was a wacky turn. That was super strange. Yeah, you're gonna see. So you're again, you're gonna see a proton bomb from Torgal. I would bet a lot of money on. Um, the bomb from Palob is questionable. X Wing Charles, is that Charles Holcomb? Who's who's uh, got the buy? Hey, thanks so much. You get to two subs. Even Axio and getting it on the X Twitchy five by five. Twitchy five by five. Thank you so much, man. I really, really do appreciate that. I see that name all the time. I just always wonder what it means. It's, I think technically, yeah. He said he confessed that it was it's supposed to be pronounced action, but Axion sounds a lot cooler, so he's running with it. I, I respect that. I, know, I mean, I mean, Twitchy five by five. Oh, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah actually, who cares about Axion's name? <laughs> it is a good name. Remember, it's a very iconic X Wing community name. Greg is the only one who calls him uh, Action. I know that. Because everyone else calls him Axion. But... I thought even Greg called him Axion, but oh, maybe I'm wrong. Him action. <laughs> who knows? It's all a conspiracy. Eh, whatever. Whatever, whatever. your name is. Eh, whatever. Eh, whoever you are. So, Kanan, you think Kanan's just going to coast to do one straighter bank, or you uh, think he's going to yeah. make it do a hard turn? Yeah. One bank. Just keep, keep that arc where it is. Enough. You don't have uh, cannon. Cannon is such a weird ship to where you don't need to be shooting. I mean, I guess this is all support ships to an extent, um, where you don't have to you don't have to be shooting in order to get your value. But at the same time, Cannon's value is just so high just by keeping his friends in arc that he really doesn't have to be shooting to get his value. Yeah. And it looks um, like it's gonna be Josh. Josh again. I don't think I hate that if I'm Josh. The only one that moves first is gonna be Ezra. So I guess you, but yeah. he has a crate anyway, so it's not like he's repositioning. And honestly, if he gets the focus bump, he basically gets two focuses. Dropping bombs. All right, so we're gonna see one from Torkoal for sure. The Paylob one is the one that I'm interested in. Um, Cause I, so if you do a three straight with Torkoal, right? That doesn't leave Paylob a whole lot of room to maneuver. No. And not get hit by his own bomb. Which you have a crate. So Do you think he's at range one? Paleb's got to be out of range one of that proton bomb. Or did did you see him drop another one? I did not see him drop oh, another no, no. one. Pa I mean, Paleb right now is out of range one, yes. But if Paleb drops one, he's going to be at range one. Oh, boy. Velvet Buddha took the dub round one. Beat Peter. Quick game. GG is quick game. I think that, well, that, may, that might be the next game we have to stream because that is the Battle of the Atlantas. Oh, I'll gladly stream Charles. I... Yeah, Charles, Charles is a... Pleasure to watch. So great X Wing player. The only reason I'm as good as I am at X Wing is dropping I all of them. By Charles. Uh, I got my butt kicked by him for two years straight. Jeez. 
Um, excellent player. Yeah. Yeah, his draft um, stock is pretty freaking high, man. <laughs> yeah, a, a, a nice guy. Extremely nice guy. He's the uh, de facto TO for Atlanta, usually. Yeah. Great dude. You did see Paylob and Gamut drop bombs. Is and Torkoal far enough away from that top Proton bomb, you think? Yes. I'm gonna go yes. Yeah. Oh, Ezra. It's close. Ezra getting um, hit by probably one of those. Definitely one. Yeah, he's, he's gonna hit the, hit the one that Paylob is sitting on. But you may have just blocked Paylob, depending on what he's doing. Yeah. Um, but I imagine Paylob is gonna be like a three bank. Just you, to yeah. Avoid these. Yeah, you bombs. would hope that he did. A well, two bank probably won't clear either. Yeah. Uh, Ezra takes the evade. He's gonna lose that crate though with that bomb, unfortunately. We saw Leia flip though. I'm, I'm curious as to why. Like I don't think. Oh boy, that that just fits. I don't think Dutch is gonna do a red unless it's the three hard turn. Tapusk and Torkoal just hanging out together there, hand in hand. Uh, Tapusk is i five. Not Tapusk. Um... Oh yeah, he moved him way too early. Yeah. Good call, thank Players you. Players are missing a little bit there. High level X wing, but with quick. with mistakes. Cat, there's yeah, a little asterisk. Know, it's, it's early. It's in the morning. It is early. Uh, for a nice autumn walk. Yeah, yeah, I went out dinner yesterday with Manny, and it got really cold. Like I, I went on a run beforehand, and my hands were freezing, and I'm just kind of getting re ready for this weather. I do like yeah. the cold overall. I don't mind it. Um, there's some nice things that come with like come with it being that with the weather being a little colder out you get hot drinks and stuff stuff i look forward to but oh hi dutch uh he's still stressed he's no he's got a strain he can barrel roll yeah I you kind of have to right it may put you in the rock next turn but that's one rock versus two automatic crits i guess you have shield still yeah yeah i don't know maybe you just eat it he doesn't have a crate torkoal's got the arc facing forward right now yeah, he this didn't Torkoal's just not wow. Torkoal's just not gonna do yeah, anything. Torkoal did a four straight, I believe. Yeah, he did a four straight just to try to get out of dodge. Um, I think you, I think maybe you just lock, right? Yeah, Kanan will do Kanan things, but you still got the you know the missile. Yeah, I don't know. The concussion missile won't. I assume that's range one. You think it's range two because it won't I think work. It's range two to Torkoal. I think it's range two. It's it's close. That lane of bombs is just a, a big problem for these ships at the bottom as well. Yeah, he's, he's mean, taking locks. Colby's probably going to be hitting two of those. I don't know what Wolf is doing because again, I, Leia we still haven't seen a red maneuver. Leia was popped, but no red. So I'm imagining there's going to be like a three hard from Wolf, but that puts on the debris. So I don't know. This is an interesting. I, I'm, again, I'm still kind of waiting to see why Leia was popped, but. Is there I a stop? Does Wolf have a stop? Why would he He's use that stop. though? But like the stop here, I don't think is like. I, Why? I would yeah. I was using Leia for one stop for actions, but again, that could just be me. If you think Wolf really needs an out reinforce? Yeah, could, yeah. I mean, who else would have? Who would have? Why would you do a red maneuver with Aaron or Colby? It's a stop. There it is. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I don't hate it because of the proton bombs, TBH. It's there's just a, you're also not shooting, right? Does the Z95 have like a red forward maneuver or something? No, it doesn't. Never mind. Yeah, I guess you just. Oh, Colby. So Colby's gonna need to barrel roll ASAP. Uh, yeah, he didn't close his wing, so he can't boost. But even if he boosted, I think he's still in all of them. So you roll right and get out of at least one. Right back and try to get out of two. I was gonna say should have closed him because if Aaron gets close enough to take a shot, you could have given Colby. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. That's not how this works. The bombs detonate um, the bomb, yeah, at the yeah, start the of the uh, active yeah but engagement. You anyways, roll, you could roll out of position, then boost focus into position after yeah. uh, Aaron shoots. That would have been really cool, actually. Aaron opens up a lot of like extra movement options with A wings and Colby and anything with like linked actions that it, it's kind of hard to consider. Actually, no, he couldn't. It couldn't be a boost focus. Excuse me. Is that going to be out of the second one? Uh, maybe. That'd be tight. It's worth trying. Like, it's worth yeah, going back yeah. just to try. Yeah. You don't, you don't give up that much position. Yeah, right? yeah. It should be outside of range one of the, the, the middle one. Aaron's just slow rolling. Aaron's still not going to be taking advantage of his ability, unfortunately. 
Buddha saying snuggle up to Manny. Yes, that's the plan. Love me some Manny. <laughs> yeah, Manny's a good dude. Good dude. All right, so oh my really god, it barely Israel. doesn't hit Torkoal! Oh, that that's so close! Yeah. Oh, that would have been real think, bad. Dropping with uh, uh, Gambit was a bold move, but it pays off. The Dutch taking a shield. The second one goes off. Oh, it yeah, does hit him! It hits Colby. So he's going to a shield on Dutch and a shield on Colby. Ultimately, so Colby will really lose both shields, yeah. Yeah, you're getting shields down with these, so you're not getting crits underneath, but it does weaken them up. Not the worst case scenario for Josh here. He did lose the crate. But. So Colby's just out, no shots. Dutch. You gotta, you have to, you wish it, this was a cluster missile, right? Wouldn't that have been fun? I think Conk is still probably better on, I don't know, Dutch is... I just, it's just in this one situation with all these yeah, ships here. Yeah. There's but, a lot of ways you can load up Dutch. I'll just yeah. be right here, a cluster missile would be kind of nice, but cluster missiles are also hard when it's single modded against, you know, we don't have another way to get like a focus lock right. in there. I guess so, we got R3. So you you got the two dice, lock. which I assume is. It could just be primary into Torkoal. Yeah, uh, let's see why lock, not. Which is. No, oh. Focus would be nice. Oh, is this in the payload? Yeah. Well, this there is in the it payload. is. You just spent the lock on payload. Why is it in the payload? Huh. Flip another damage card over. I guess. I guess it's, you're trying to get It's the, not the a direct damage. though, it's a damage engine. Yeah, you're really trying to kill him with the splash damage, which just seems like being a little greedy to me. Well yeah, yeah, I, yeah how would you you don't know it's a direct hit and it wasn't, so Right. That's all that's what you needed. You needed to be direct. So I mean I don't know. I, yeah. Dutch took a lock on Paylob and Tapisk or Kanan, excuse me. Um so Ezra gets a mod against Kanan, but I think you just, I, if it were me, I think I still would have taken my first lock on, or, or my, the lock for Dutch, I would have taken on Torkoal, right? I think we got a Miss Paylob trigger as well, right? Didn't take the evade. Uh, yeah. Would have avoided the damage. Yeah, I still think you're leaving, leaving Torkoal alive means he gets to drop another bomb. Dutch too. takes one with the strain. He didn't roll a, a die. Next shot into Kanan. That's all you got. Struck at range two for okay. Yeah, it hit crit. Kaden does have a crate. He's got a force and a evade or a lock. Doesn't need any of it. Uh, that's and two we, shields and the crate gone. And we didn't see Kaden use his force. Are you saving it? Uh, I think he used it. He used it on. Um, oh, we only had one left front the start of this turn. That's what, what it was. It, it, it had to have been into. Um, yeah, it had to have been in a payload. But it was range two. Oh, it was a conch missile. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that crate drop. Uh, Kanan should have dropped a crate though as well. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm oh, that's to... what you're saying. Got it. Yeah. They didn't drop Thank the crate. You. Yeah. All right. Dutch is on three now. And we're probably going to see more proton bombs. Yeah. I mean, that's the one thing about, again, leaving leaving Torque alive means it's another bomb you're going to be, you have to deal with. The fact that it just just hasn't been able to kill anything yet is got to be so frustrating. Well, both players right now really um, really doing their best to not kill anything. Um, really yeah, I mean, really jo Josh should have shot it. Into, yeah, why he didn't shoot it at Oracle? It's like, why? I, I... Well, it's that. And it's also like again turning away from Wolf when you've kind of got like a guaranteed initiative kill on Wolf, and you're like, yeah, I'm okay. Paylob unmodded, but that's a oh, hit crit going through on Dutch now. Yeah. 
direct will kill him. It's a weapons failure. Yeah, just feels a, extra great with Kanan. If Torque were killed him, it would be a... Uh, or I, I guess if he got killed with a direct, it would be kind of poetic. Here's the direct. Trying to kill... Spend, what did you spend? What did you spend the focus? This is going to try to kill Dutch, and it does. The Dutch goes down. Yeah, that's... Oof, that's man, four that's points. It's going to put him up to crate, nine. So you're not losing a crate, but you're only getting one because you've got Aaron, and that's it. Yeah. And Whereas really it's... can't be that aggressive with... Two. Colby. It's 11 to four, right? Uh, yes. And if you're that aggressive with Colby, you're, I mean, you're getting bombed, so... And you don't have shields anymore to hide behind. Uh, you think a you think a three hard is too close to a proton bomb? Um, I think it too hard then. No, you can probably three hard. I mean, ideally, what I would too hard, and then you could always just use his ability, right? And boost. I mean, ideally, what I would do is I would do a three bank boost, boost focus, and get in there. Um, that'd be what I'd love to do with Kay Colby right now, but yeah, I mean, also Aaron just not really needed an extra gun in this fight and having Wolf Waro and Aaron sitting out the way they have this yeah. and Aaron just the entire game so far is could really no do Josh in here yep yeah he's a little too far out he hasn't, hasn't been able to kind of get in there quick enough um Gamut Key is going to keep a the focus on Tapas Glare um yeah I don't know this has been an interesting match so far I'm like, yeah, like, I think the big mistake right now is is keeping Torkoal alive, not not killing him with, K or with uh, Dutch. That would have been a 4 for 4 trade at that point. Oh, yeah. Which isn't ideal when you're behind, but it's also better than, you know, where you're at now. Um, it'd be 8 to 11 instead of 4 to 11. Um, oh, actually, it should be 4 to 10, because... No, he dropped the crate. Never mind. Did he drop the crate? Well... Does Torkoal have a crate still? Uh, Torkoal, I don't see one on Torkoal now. Not. Okay, yeah, so it wouldn't be... It wouldn't good, be crazy yeah, good news for Josh is Torkoal's worth four points, so if you find a way to kill Torkoal, you're going to be up to eight. If you can find yeah, a way to drop another there. crate off of Noah, then it'll right. keep the margin close. You, you just got to get in... Yeah, you uh, do. You just got to... shot on him, which is going to be hard. Uh, the Ezra one hard would look great right now, because if, it, uh, if Tapas wasn't there. Yeah. Would you see uh, Noah gets to 11 for anyone who subscribes to that uh, ideology? First to 11? Let me actually... I had to start the tournament on the on the challenge because we challenge. have 14 people that got their bracket predictions in. I got mine in. Nice. Who'd you pick to win it all? Uh, I think Charles. I think. Yeah. Number one seed, you know, gotta go for it. Plus, I mean, he beats Buddha on a regular basis. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, Buddha will... Andrew Block will be taking on... <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we'll be taking on Charles. For our top four exclamation points. Uh, um, standings, I believe. Did Tapos prevent a layer charge? Tapos did prevent a layer charge. Although, I don't... Oh, that's legacy. That we don't want work. that. See league. It should be exclamation point league. For an enemy ship in your cover. Yeah, yeah, that does work. Never mind. Yep. Bracket. Like layer charge. Cool. Yeah. Edit the commands here real quick. Clean that up. Tapas is not a pilot I see very often. Um. So I definitely like. I wouldn't know how to really plan around that effectively. Um. He is interesting. Yeah. I, at I five. Yeah. I find I'm not oh, imagine how good with multi crow he'd be. Ooh, he'd be pretty solid. Yeah. I don't hate limiting the crow to only a few of them though. I, I think that's pretty decent. It allows them to be, you know, cheaper. That being said, I think the Rebel Hawks should probably go down. Six points for James and Isle. Maybe. I don't know. Hey hey, we got a new follow. Thank you. Is that uh, is this triple? I'm just gonna see. Yeah. On 111 Y08 TV. I don't know if that's a real username, I but I. It is. It's. I've seen him around. He's um. Is it Illy? I, I, I believe he's. Uh, I believe he's part of Squadron of Bavaria over in Germany. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're we're trying to get to. We're at 739 followers right now, which is awesome. It is Illy. There you go. 
Rebel Hawks among the most overpriced ships right now. I would disagree with that. Well, welcome to the they, stream. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate Rebel it. Hawks are overpriced. I wouldn't say they're the most overpriced. Pim, you know everything, man. You know exactly. You got um, it right. You know, I've uh, <laughs> I've been running events for a couple years now, so I've seen a lot of people. Seen a thing or two. I shipped. Well, I, I remember him because I've had to ship things to Germany, and that's always a real pain. Oh, um, sure. When you go to do international shipping, you're like, oh yeah, this person. I don't hate him for it, obviously. Like, I don't. I'm not mad at them. It's just that <laughs> thing of like, well, I got to do the stupid customs form because USPS is like, what are you shipping? Is it drugs? And it's like, no. Yeah, those custom forms just, are brutal, man. It's like it's just plastic cardboard. That's all it is. It's just plastic and cardboard. Just yes, it should be duty free. But they still charge me duty half the time, anyways. Yeah. Why not? If they can charge you. Oh yeah. Here's all. There's a dreaded rotate. No bombs this time. Well, Sorry. we got one. We got one on Ezra. Oh, I see it now. Ezra was his. That my view was blocked by his. Yeah. Uh, all right, Ezra. Guns. Might be out of that. But I don't trust. Um, after after thinking that he was out of it with Colby, I don't trust it. I don't know. He's out of it, but I don't know if. I think he's out of it right there. You take the salvage, no. though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, he's got a force. Yeah, I would do it. One force, you're going to take one two-die shot, probably three two-die shots. Unlikely to get a crit through, but I don't know. This is why I hate the crit thing on salvage. Like, yeah, I know, because then you see the crit get rolled, it. you're like, oh! <laughs> it, I still think salvage should be a drops on half points. I think that would be the easiest way to do it. Just make them drop when you get. Oh, but then people would just take tanky things and like they, they would run away. Tanky things. <laughs> they, but they would just run away with points for so long they before you could get half on that. them. <laughs> oh, he's gonna barrel roll. So I guess next turn he's gonna grab the salvage. He's gonna just yeah. hide behind the rock. Yeah, it just allows you. It allows you to plan for it better. We barrel roll of aid, yeah. Torgo's gonna take. Actually, Torgo might be out of range to take that, but he gets his uh, force to be a focus now with that stress. This force becomes a focus. I do love Ezra in the uh, attack shuttle. I don't think he's going to set the world on, world on fire by any means. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he's a fun little ship. Uh, does Kanan rotate towards Ezra? Does Kanan take a shot? Does he get to shoot? Finally? No, I don't think so. It doesn't look I like it. I think he just, just holds it here and keeps it on his allies. Kane doesn't want to shoot his future apprentice anyways. Thank you, I'm glad you find that funny. Holy is is, is, is she right is she right next to you right now? Yeah, our, our computer's sitting. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. I just kinda heard the scoff. Yeah. <laughs> no, Colby! No, Colby, come on! Colby someone someone shooting... needs to shoot! Yeah, I mean you're just gonna let the Hawks run away with uh the game with uh objective points <laughs> uh, if you're not careful well now he's out of the fight for three rounds man he boosts and focuses or he boosts mm. i don't like that at all i'd boost the other way to do like a hard turn boost back not there. great bob <laughs> i still think that leia charge is probably one turn premature uh being able to turn around there would have been nice on ezra and well, you could have just done the red stop, right? Because you knew you didn't have it. You do that if you feel like you have a kill shot there. Yeah, you know. yeah I mean, that was a big thing. Like, you gave the red stop just to do what? Focus with? Yeah, I know. He's going to take the salvage. Have... Yeah, you focus with the ship that wouldn't have No, he's going to rotate. Battle. Oh, that's kind of big that he did take the salvage there. I know he had X turn he could take it, but like, wow. Okay. Yeah. This, I think I would have taken that salvage just to get another yeah. point. I would have gotten you what? He's got two right now? Yeah, so it'll be 13 to 5. Yeah, oh, Tapis already has one. That's why I didn't take it. Oh, got it. Yep. That makes sense. Good mind. Not Range mind. three obstructed into Ezra eyes. Bridger. Should have torqued him just to be mean. Ezra's got a focus of aid. So. Aha! I get wrecked. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, Not that you. Yeah, he wasn't going to take damage even if you rolled natties. Again, it's basically just a focus of aid. Yeah, linking the, with the stress. Really good that's with Ezra. Funny. That's why, like, yeah. That's why I don't love taking a crate with him because I think that's a really cool nifty thing to have. But then, of course, it's an every other turn thing usually because you can't turn around when you do that. And you, right now, of course, he's looking the wrong way. 
So we were like dorsal turret on those on those uh, uh, attack shuttles just to increase arc. Yeah, that points. coverage. Yeah. yeah. I mean, two points yeah, to not not happening. Spend the evade. Yep. Two points to double your arc coverage, even if it is only two dice, is a very good value. All right, so we're up to thirteen to five now, and you are, if you're Josh. You get it's crunch time, baby. You gotta get in there. You gotta get in there, and you gotta the kill. The problem is, your your one of your big guns is looking the wrong way. The other big gun isn't very fast. Yeah, well, we know Ezra's gonna take a salvage, so he's at least gonna have two points. Yep. Well, Faro, what do you see? A, a three hard or a three bank? Oh, it's a three hard red on them. I think you gotta do a three bank. You, you won't be have. bombed, so. This is why I play with Yasby open so often, just to see, like, dials. Um, it's a three. The three hard is white on the ship. I mean, you could three hard both Aaron and Wolf here. I think that would probably be your best bet. Just three hard on both. Yeah, got Aaron. Let's get Aaron in there doing something. Yeah, I want to see Aaron take a shot here. Um, Colby three hard yeah. boost. Uh, yeah, set up a four straight to. for the next turn. You have to, right? Yeah, three hard boost and then four straight and try to catch and something at range three. The next only turn. other option would be like a, a talent roll, but then that's I think two turns out of the fight versus one turn if you do the three hard boost. Yeah, you gotta get around. I still don't like that kind of. I don't like that defensive play with Colby. I don't think he was in that much danger. I guess the bombs were what you were trying to avoid, which I think is smart. Yeah. But still, I just, I don't know. I, you got to get in there. You can't Let's... afford to have too many turns out of the fight. If you guys are just joining us, this is top eight, season seven of our league playoffs. Pim is with me. And thank you to Ooh. Charles, to Greg, and to Colfax. We've got four out of 10 for our first sub goal today. So, um, well, we got plenty of games today, too. So lots of X Wing and uh, looking forward to it. So, anyways. Oh, no. Anyways. I don't know. <laughs> we are playing salvage mission. We got just over 18 minutes left. Uh, Andrew Block has already uh, defeated Peter Rose, and uh, the Peter other Rose. game. Yeah, exactly. I, it's always so funny to think about just like a little bit of the Hall of Fame. Uh, damn it. Um, and I don't think we have a score where with John and Daniel's game quite yet. I'll check Discord. Are we sure that he didn't take a dive against Block? Are we sure that Block won the game fair and square? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not convinced, but you know, I, I have no proof. It's all. It's just based off of my my you know my hunch. Just don't know Man, if that's enough. You, just just completely off topic. Did you see the fact that the cardinal or the uh, the Reds are putting in a um? It's gonna be like a, a betting like uh like sports betting lounge in their stadium for next season. The Cubs are doing something similar, but it's extra ironic considering it's the Reds. It's the Reds. I mean, come on, man. Pete Rose has to yeah. be like, Man, this is a Joker moment. Right? I, I think eventually in the next 10 years, we will see Pete Rose enter the Hall of Fame. He needs to. If Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire get in, I'm just I saying. Think, I, I say let everyone in. Honestly, I don't care. Like, put Bonds in. Put Bonds I'm, in I'm, I'm iffy place. on Bonds. Pete Rose, absolutely, because he didn't cheat. He just did something stupid. He just bet on it. Yeah, I mean, he was a he made a dumb, he made a yeah, dumb decision. But he just right? made a mistake that you can forgive. Like, I can forgive that. Cheating I mean, I also, is a little different. I also think Shoeless Joe needs to be in. Oh, absolutely, dude. No doubt about his, that. I mean, look, at look at his numbers! Oh, look at his freaking numbers! He was throwing and that's his numbers? Oh my yeah. god. What would he be like? We're no longer talking about next week, guys. It's baseball time. <laughs> dude, I've just, always been in that camp. It's no. I don't think anyone disagrees with that, though. That is like a universal I just, thing. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't either. If you're throwing and those are your stats, holy crap, what would your stats be if it was if you weren't throwing? Like... Oh, Bonds is out of eligibility. He can't even be voted in. No, he can still get in. You can get in from the, uh, uh, the, the, the legacy. What does it call it? But there, I think that committee is less likely to have him in, though. I think that committee is more likely to have him in. Oh, than you the think orders. so? I think the players, like as the players get older, who played with him, yeah, huh. and get on that, and they get on that uh, commission. I think they're more likely to be like, yeah, let him in. Well, like, Flying Mighty says the players hate him. Bonds. I think he was kind of an ass, wasn't he? Yeah. That doesn't help your case if you were a dick. Yeah. 
Okay, the Hawks are getting very a lot of distance. We got Ezra at the right side. We're going to take a, a quick break from talking about the important things, which is baseball, no. to talk about this. Um, <laughs> we got Ezra take a salvage. We got the Hawks kind of turning over, banking around that corner there, a little toilet bowl action. Uh, Noah's got a excellent toilet bowl. <laughs> Noah's got a eight point advantage right now, and he's taking another salvage. So he will have he'll be up to sixteen. Yeah, unless, Noah's trying to he's trying yeah. to put the nail in the coffin right now. Yeah. Um, I mean that's that's gonna be hard for even those three hearts. I don't think you get yeah, a shot. Yeah, I'm not like, sure. Does Wolf Waro have a shot? He's checking for a target no. lock, I guess. No, it's very good focus. He can't lock. He doesn't lock on his action bar. Oh, that's right. Aaron need, or uh, Dutch was the one that was able to yep. let him do that. Now we got to see that boost. Baseball hurts after the Braves fail. Ah. Dude, dude, I, dude, honestly, this <laughs> this playoff season has proven that all you need to do is just get hot at the right time because every Goliath out there, except for the Astros, has been eliminated. I mean, including the Yankees, right? The Yankees got eliminated as well. Or do they have one more game? They might have one more game. I think the Yankees have one more game. Yeah, I think it's two to one right now. But still, uh, the Braves and the Mets uh, and the Dodgers, that is huge. Well, that I mean is massive let's be honest with ourselves we knew the Mets were losing anyone who didn't say the Mets were losing was kidding yeah. themselves. The, the Padres have had such bad luck playing the Dodgers in the regular season that they were due for some and that park it gets real rowdy man it's a great that home field advantage really matters in baseball it's yeah a big I deal. saw that uh oh no no shots at all this turn Just 7 to 16 now yeah I saw one of the relief pitchers of the Padres talking about how like that was the best like postseason crowd he's ever played in yeah I have been to I, w I went to a game at Wrigley in 2015 when they were playing the Cardinals and then LDS and the Cubs hit six home runs. Oh my gosh! That that I was like three rows behind home plate, no no joke. And like awesome. seeing seeing the ball like off the bat like hit that hard and that far like just yeah. incredible. It was really remarkable. That was uh yeah Wrigley Field any ballpark right when it's sold out but like oh, yeah. it, it's just something special seeing your your home team um I keep sell out like that. that like I've been down here for two years now, and I keep telling myself I gotta go over. To, I gotta get over to Tropicana Field, um, and watch a game there. But I still haven't. I need to. Yeah, the poor Rays, man. They they always make the playoffs and get thing, and they exit immediately. Except for that yeah. one season where they lot in the COVID season when they actually made it to the World Series. Well, there was one season they got pretty far with Madden back in. Uh, I think uh, they made it to the ch championship series, but. I think so. Tropicana. Yeah. Okay, I agree. Tropicana is not a good park, but I love it. I really like Tropicana. Camden Yards seems like a really nice park. I'm sorry for those of you guys that hate baseball or I just could care less. We will we will continue to talk about X-Wing. We're just kind of, as they're setting dials, killing a little bit of time and chatting it up, you know? You know what I mean? You know, they come for the chat. They don't care, they don't care about the game, to be honest. <laughs> um, I love Tropicana Field. I know people hate it. I understand why. Like, the lighting in there isn't great, but I really do like Mar it. Marlins Park, greatest park ever? <laughs> Marlins Park? I'm oh, kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. PNC Park is might be up there as one of the most beautiful parks. I mean, I'm biased to Wrigley Field because it's just unique and really special. It's definitely a nice Wrigley, looking park, but it's really is a cool park. I mean, it's like top. I'd say like top ten overall. I wouldn't put it as like one of the, as like the nicest looking park because there are some gorgeous baseball fields out there. But I actually sort of hate the Braves new field. SunTrust Park is just it feels super corporate. Oh yeah, like I guess all sports are getting that way, right? Where like everything like the you know. They the still love that chop, man. Bathroom, you know? They love that chop. Um, I think, that, honestly, I think it's just karma. They got knocked out. It's like, you guys love that yeah. chop so much, you're going to have to pay for it by leaving the playoffs immediately. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like everything about that field, just to me, like everything is corporate branded and everything. And ugh, I don't yeah. like Truist Park. Sorry, it's Truist Park. That's right. They, they're no longer SunTrust. Uh, stop from Corgle. <laughs> did, they, did they change their name after only like a couple of years? Uh, it's because SunTrust uh, merged Was with bb and Oh. Became Truist, yeah. Oh, well, whatever. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. It's so Truist, but I Gamma doesn't take any game. damage, so he's he's in good shape to do whatever. Just the last time they won. Oh, the, that's the uh series. close to the board edge. Was it I mean, two R? No, two R is gonna fit, right? Does he have three or four crates right now? Three. Uh, the two R should fit. If not, you can stop. You can stop next turn. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so dead. Need, I don't. I, mean, I don't think I mean, so. If you keep your three, I mean, you can lose one crate this turn. <laughs> as long as you don't lose another crate next turn, you're good. Ezra, doing a red maneuver here, three hard. 
Wolfaro. Is Wolfaro gonna have a shot on on Oh my god, Kanan doesn't have his arc facing the right way. He can do it against himself, but that's it. Yeah. I mean, do you get to kill Torko finally? That'd be big. I wouldn't be. I mean, sure. yeah, it would you put you within five points, which doesn't seem like enough, but the it's it's, you, it's Torko, the start. The big problem is you are not denying a crate if you do that. Although I guess at this point you know you've got to get you've got to win next turn. So go ahead and get the kill where you can. Yeah. Hopefully Kraken gets in pretty quick. I mean Kraken could eye on Tor Torkoal and then Wolf shoots someone else. That, uh, I mean, that is that Proton Bomb gonna hit? No. No. Okay, it's not gonna hit anyone. No, that's out of everyone. I mean, this isn't. I mean, unless Dutch is like a four forward, then maybe he gets hit by it. But also... that too hard. The two hard should totally fit there. I mean, he's spending all of these bets, all his nickels, it won't fit. A two hard. That two hard's not fitting. He's you don't think a two? You think so? Like I think he's off by like a hair on his oh, face. Oh man, can you imagine? That's the way you lose because Paylob's worth five. Yeah. No. Yeah. If you're, if you're... Oh boy. <laughs> I think Noah's stopping the Paylob next turn. I don't think there's any way he's not doing that. Parallax and all, but looks off. All right. Dutch doesn't doesn't Aaron get an action? There he goes. I'm gonna say they're just doing the bomb, but like, hang on, this guy gets an action. <laughs> he can finally shoot and give it another action to someone. Ion else. torpedo cannon. Um, cannon has shields down. That's not terrible. No, actually. it's not actually. It means if you kill Torkel this turn and then you kill Cannon next turn. Cannon's five, four. He's four points. Four, yeah. Paylob's the one that you would love to see killed, but. You gotta kill. I mean, you gotta kill three hawks, right? That's the position you're. Oh, yeah, you check. You check the wrong ship first, so you gotta. Uh, Torkoal is gonna go off, and he's gonna drop Wolf down to zero because Torkoal can still sure. do that because he's still alive. But we're gonna see the torpedo go into Kanan. Yep. Are we gonna see the minus one die? I, I don't even think I'd bother. Yeah, you still feel like you can get ionized here, right? Oh, he's just doing a primary attack. What? what? Why? <sighs> Why would you one? Play? It's not. It's not. It's just He's not for a crit to get through, and that's the only. That's the only answer, right? I don't. Let me, let me ask. Why? No, 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 no. <laughs> don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> Well, why was it two reds and the three and the two greens? Why was it the three greens? Uh, yeah, I mean, either way, he rolled all the paint, so I, I don't understand that shot for a number of reasons. But I, I, I just don't even bother was. at this point. I don't understand what that shot was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if it was primary, that should have been three greens. But if it was all right, no like, damage from Kanan's shot, even if it was Kanan and the wolf even... range three. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I'm confused. For um... for nothing. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, if wolf kills Torkel. Wolf's we getting four paint. dice here. Just you just need to roll like three. You need to roll three paints. Four paint is guaranteed kill. I mean, yeah, yeah. Four paint would be beautiful. Can't cannon? He's shooting. No. Cannon. And cannon's gonna drop it to three, presumably. Why are you not killing Torkel? Oh my god! It still he rolls nothing. This is my Joker moment. Yeah, that's uh, that's too bad. That's that's. You know what they, You know what you mean. You know you know that whole thing of like this is where I turn evil and. Yeah, I know. Yeah. This is my moment. Um. Well, that's got to be the game, right? The game's over. Yeah, yeah. At this point, it's GG. I mean, you gotta. I don't understand not shooting Torkoal there with Wolf. I mean, if Wolf had a lock on Kanan, maybe I understand it. But when Kanan has... It's got to be a desperation Torkoal. play for the crate instead of a kill. But the crate's worth one point. The kill's worth four. So... Yeah, I mean, the reason I wouldn't even bother going for the crate in that situation is just because... If you get rid of one crate, he still has two crates, right? Which means he still wins next turn. You haven't delayed that. If, if you could delay the win, then I would go for the crates. But at that point, you couldn't delay the win by that. You'd still be able to keep two for next turn with Tavisk and, and Paylob. Um, so you just go for the kill shot and try to get in there. But yeah, very yeah, I mean, there op multiple opportunities with Torkoal sitting there begging to be killed and not just not even shooting at him um, earlier in the game and and this this turn here. 
That's the uh, looms large. If if I'm, I know I've been harsh, and I, I don't mean to be harsh on the players. Um, and, and I apologize, Josh, if you watch this bad game and you you think I was overly harsh. That's possible. Um, I do apologize for that. No. Um, I think I, I think, think it's harsh way. asking them why, like, which you didn't do, so it's fine. I, know, I, don't, I, I wouldn't interpret. Uh, but no, I, I yeah, think I watching it back, he might realize there's probably a, yeah. a couple of mistakes that he made, and that's, that's fine. I mean, we all I mean, make I a ton of mistakes playing like You can't you can't leave Torkoal alive that long. He lived for way too long. He, he should have died with Dutch, right? Yeah. And then you yeah, not even trading. Trade. Yep. Dude, the fact that not a, sh a single hawk has died in this game is yeah. like, who would have thought? Not, neither player would have guessed that not a single hawk would have died after just, seven rounds. I don't know. There hasn't been enough debt focusing, focus fire on these hawks, right? Because you've got shields down on three of them. One of them's on one health, but you're it's not take... focus firing one. Dude, how has it taken seven rounds for Aaron to get a shot? It's just Aaron's been, I mean, he got blocked and then he's but, just gone yeah, through, he's gone too seven slow. Seven rounds. He's That's wild. I mean, the Hawks, I will say, I, I was questioning it at first. I do see why Noah turned away from Wolf. I think I still would have rather killed Wolf in that situation. But he was able to effectively, you know, he got all their ships away from Wolf and Kraken so that they didn't get shots for two rounds. Three rounds? I don't know. They didn't get shots for a while, right? Like he did a great job of just avoiding damage and kind of circling. He yeah. got his like one kill and started scoring points. And that's what you have to do with this list. Um It looks like Daniel has defeated John Fight, so My bracket's looking good so far. I called both Buddha and Daniel. And did you call Noah? Uh I don't remember who I called in this matchup. I think I called Josh. Yeah. I can't remember. But, so, but for those of you guys that did predict, you just have to finish at the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. Truthfully, I just went with people like I have seen play before on stream. Yeah, yeah, because you know what they play. Because I know, like, I sort of know of them. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, I'll just pick these people. And I haven't seen uh, Noah, I don't think, before. Um, or uh, uh, Peter. Uh, uh, Vince, they don't have to use the same list the entire league, so there's a chance this was built just uh, for Torko today. Died, or if Torko dies to a self bump. No! <laughs> no! No! Come on! Everything going Noah's way. Everything in this game. Even though his dice have been kind of cold after like the first two engages, like, doesn't matter. Everything else has gone his way. We said they're going cold, but he's only had like two shots since those first two yeah. engages. Well, that, th that, that turn. Yeah, he stops there. It makes sense. <laughs> that that turn, though, uh, when he was torqued, Ezra had like four shots in him, and he didn't yeah. really get a single damage. It's pretty exceptional. Yeah, yeah, Ezra, <laughs> Ezra living there was uh, surprising. <laughs> yeah. Not taking damage is even more surprising. Oh, he's going to boost in, probably Ezra block up some, uh, Colby. Flat armor going on. Yeah. I mean, if Colby did like a four straight, which I hope he did. Excuse me. Colby's got to go for the kill on um, Paylob, right? I don't think. I think Colby would slow. I really think Colby's getting blocked here. He's got to go quick. I mean, you've got to get in there. Yeah, I know. Man, I hope Colby went fast. I hope he went fast. He right? did. He did. He did. He did. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, John. Come on. Any close? Any close to wings? Are we gonna get a focus boost? You, you get... Oh, wipe straight. Okay. We got it. And then flip the flip the card. <laughs> you're like you're just like willing it into existence it. if i did the thing didn't think of stress oh he would sl kind of slow with wolf god you gotta go quicker with wolf i mean that's what my another big takeaway here you got i swear to god so if he tries to shoot kaden <laughs> i swear to god he can't even can't use his ability if you shoot it in a torkoal he has no torkoal has no tokens you gotta do the thing is this a but false yeah, transponder code in. Uh, it is. Yeah. Oh no! No mods. Give me, give me the natties, please, from Colby. Give me triple crits. Shocking that he didn't, hasn't used it yet. Hapos still has that. Um, we didn't see the stop on Halob. Aaron. One straight. Ah, you got to go quicker with. It. I don't know. Take the target lock on Torko, please. Just kill Torkoal. You've got four dice. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> a fuck you. <laughs> Nick, I'm tilted. I'm not even playing. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, it's like when I was watching that one game, you know what you know what game I'm talking about. <laughs> Sometimes man, you just watch those games. You're, like, you're just like you want I'm like, I am going to kill myself, but it is your fault. 
Yeah, this, this is your Joker moment. It's just like... <laughs> I'm going to go insane watching this movie. I know. It's like, <laughs> I wouldn't have done that! I wouldn't have done that! I certainly would have done that. Going to have a long discussion with Josh. Oh, I'll leave. Uh, you know, Josh is. I, I know that Josh is actually a really good player, and um. Chalk yeah. it up to is early for Josh. I'm just chalking up to that. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. Um, and we're not. What are we doing here? I don't. Uh, know. this is into Colby takes one. Who cares? Colby's not dying. Or right, Wolf takes one. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, who? What? What's happening? I don't know. Okay. Well, well he, he torqued Wolf, is what I know. So, yeah. Wolf's not shooting until okay, later on. Okay, okay. There's a lot of things going on that I missed, I think. Uh, please use an ion torpedo. I guess you don't can't use the ion torpedo because you need to kill him, which is why you should torpedo Torko. He's rolling one die. Yeah, he Very good, Zabalanki. He's going to spend his little lock. Hope for a little crit. <laughs> oh, he's another blink! Oh, yeah, no! Yeah, he's torpedo torpedo there. Torpedo's dead, and you can use wolf shot to try to kill a cannon. Yeah, that's... Ugh. Oh, good, he gets a reinforce. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> that's what he needed. Oh, I'm so sad for Josh, man. This shot from Colby better be the spiciest shot I've ever seen in Unmodded Shot. I want to see everything. Please, Colby Sperato, you do it for me, my guy. Come on. Colby, Colby. We're, we're, we're waggling, we're waggling little hands around, moving them around. Here we go. Range three. Paylob has nice three hole. Is that right? Three hole left. Oh, yeah. Range three. Not going to do it. Only two. Yeah, you, you need it. Paylob rolls double evades. Yeah. That's gonna seal the deal. The shot back into Colby. Watch this kill him. <laughs> oh, he's got four health. Yeah. He's got three. Oh yeah, that's double right. Direct. Yeah. Double direct. And uh, can we see a hawk leave the board here? Will we see? Oh, game's over. No, I know, but I know, but will we see like leave just like get killed? You know, like will we see the Torkoal no. Bucks die? Probably. No. No. Why? <laughs> Why? It's just it's not gonna happen. I don't believe. You don't. <laughs> oh. I don't believe. Sorry, guys, that obnoxious timer. I'm trying to. Tabletop To is. Not refreshing to stop the timer. Come on. Tabletop oh, T.O. is dead. Long live Tabletop T.O. Alright, I just have to close the tab because it's not refreshing. Sick. Thanks, yeah, T.T.O. We're going to cannon here. Four dice. Uh, three hits. Could do it. Could do it. Maybe. Nope. And that's going to be the game. GG. Noah pulls it out. I think I like the list that Noah has here. I think it's amusing. Um, I don't think it's that strong. <laughs> yeah, Mystic is swearing. Well, I yeah. Did Wolf not shoot? No, Wolf missed. Um, He shot Cannon and Cannon didn't get anything. Oh, he didn't ever want to kill Torkoal! Yeah, killing Torkoal there would have been a... Oh. Yeah. Yep. Just, oh. if you are going to have a discussion with Josh, just ask him why he didn't want to kill Torkoal. That's the only question. Like, why didn't you not want to kill Torkoal, Max? Was there a bet going on if Torkoal could live for the entire game? Yeah. I didn't know about? I guess so.